another episode of Learning to Drive with George, and it's test day. And this is we have an hour before the test, and we're just going to go over some show me, tell me, emergency stop, um, and all his maneuvers, and a couple of roundabouts before we go in for the test. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Good. So we're going to go straight to this. We'll go look at the roundabouts first, and then we'll start your maneuvers. And I'm going to do show me questions and uh, some of the tell me questions as we're driving. Okay. okay? All right. Good. We're going to drive. In. dealt with the van back there by the way. Do you know when you slow down and you picked up speed again and you yeah. check your mirrors again? Yeah, because you're adjusting your speed there. Good. And good positioning. This is what I was talking about yesterday, where you weren't keeping enough to the left because yeah. the road bended to the left, yeah? That's uh, the right side. At the next roundabout we're gonna turn left first exit. See that bend, you start moving over to your right a bit sooner. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So you're not in the left hand lane. He did correct it, wasn't <coughs> So yeah, correct. You got in the correct lane this time. So last time you was in that lane, yeah? And now it behind us. Yeah, that's it. Just follow your lane and they'll through. And count your ex exits out loud, don't assume. Come on. It's good. Show me questions. 
when it's safe to do so, I'd like you to show me you opening your window. I'll do a little bit more than that. There you go. Thank you. And when it's safe to do so, I'd like you to turn on your your dip lights. Thank you. And when it's safe to do so, I'd like you to wash and clean the rear windscreen. That's third exit and there's a fourth exit there. Correct. So, so fourth exit would have been a U-turn. You're turning right. There's two lanes. Gonna be two. Yeah. So wait. It's not merging. When you're on the dual carriageway, and there's two yeah. lanes. You need to be in the right-hand lane yeah. to be turning right. Yeah. And then when you get closer to the roundabout, if the right lane splits, then it could mean that there's two lanes turning right. Mm -hmm. But we never stay in the left lane and wait for that lane to split to see if there, because it will never turn right. Okay. Yeah. But there's other faults as well. <coughs> So you didn't have a signal now to remind you that we're turning right to get you to put your signal because our lane also went straight ahead. And if you don't have a signal, people can assume you're going yeah. straight ahead. And then the other fault was that we didn't try to move back to the left inside the roundabout. Yeah, yeah. so I, I would have come behind that van. Yeah. Back to your normal driving position. But if you, staying in the overtaking lane is not a big fault, it's not a serious fault. Um, so you, I was, it's fine to stay in the overtaking lane, but remember if you're in the overtaking lane, usually come off in the overtaking lane unless yeah. you can tell it's safe, and then in the new road, move back to your left. Yeah. I want to do a couple more roundabouts before we finish. Uh, yeah. The show me questions are really good. Yeah. At the roundabout, we're going to turn right, third exit.
went into that roundabout, you looked to your right, but I feel like you didn't look up ahead. Yeah. Now there's that grey car in yeah. front, which was also turning right. So both of you are turning right on a mini roundabout. There's not enough space usually for both of you to go at the same time. And she, I feel like she was already entering the roundabout before us. So I would have given you a serious mistake for observation then. Um, but then she just slowed down for you to, for you to get in and then she went around you, yeah. Um, but you were already affecting the traffic there. And then when we made the, the turn on the roundabout, did you miss that woman on yeah. the crossing? That's another serious mistake. And then uh, the bus meeting situation, he's coming towards you, he's already committed in between the parked cars and there's not enough space, I had to break on my side. Plan it a little bit better, okay? Yeah. And whenever you come off like a high street, there's usually always gonna be loads of crossings. And that particular roundabout, there's a crossing as you come into the roundabout and when you come off, just remember that. At the next roundabout, we're gonna turn right, that exit. So we used the overtaking lane again, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, but on this occasion, I felt like that was the correct thing to do because there was loads of traffic. Yeah. If the traffic wasn't there, then you would have gone into that left lane, okay? Mm -hmm. So yeah, as you're going around, just make sure you count your exits and then look for the most left lane to move over. Um, but on that occasion, it was just traffic yeah. there, so you did the correct thing of going in the overtaking lane. By the way, on the test, do you want to go on your own or do you want me to come with you? Uh, I'll go on my own, it's fine. Okay.
Okay, pick a bay and forward park into it for me, please. inside the bay yeah. yeah i was happy with that well done okay now reverse to your right drive up to your left and then we're going to pick a bay and reverse park into it for me okay So we're going to pick a bait and reverse park into it for me. In the, uh, your reference is all correct, your observations are good. Just now and again, you, you, you yeah, a little bit more. Okay, so you can pause now and again, just keep looking there. Okay, good. And I'd like us to pull over and park on the right side of the road when it's safe to do so. Now I'd like you to reverse back two columns. you to use that car in front of us to reverse parallel park. Start whenever you're ready.
do the turn. Now I'll stop the car from swinging over. Okay, good. Um, now you would have felt that for your control just because you were too close to that car, yeah? Um, now, if you see yourself, so first first things first, when you came alongside this car, you should have said to yourself, wait, there's parked cars on both sides. So when I when it comes to turning, my car is gonna get too close to that car. Yeah. So let me start closer with that. <coughs> but eventually yeah. you fixed it, which is correct. Um, but then when you start to reverse, I feel like you should have done a more of a kind of gradual turn. So you should have yeah. done less than one turn there. But yeah. instead you actually did a full lock as well, yeah, which makes it yeah, swing yeah, out yeah. even sharper. So do a gradual coming in, and then when you come away from that car, then you can come in a bit sharper okay. if you need to, okay? Um, but you just gotta adjust your steering wheel accordingly to what happens okay. there. If you get too close, strain up your wheel, come away from the car, re-add your turns and so on, mm -hmm. okay? Do it one more time. Yeah. Um, you gotta be super quick though, okay? Thank you. Good. Perfect. Well done. Um, good. Yeah. I couldn't fault that. Okay. Just if I, if anything, more observations. Okay. Yeah. Even before turning in, make sure you stop and look over your right shoulder because mm -hmm. that's where people are going to, yeah. if people are overtaking. Okay. All right. We're going to drive on. We're going to do the emergency stop when we get closer to the test center. And that's the only thing that's remaining. Okay. So we're going to do the emergency stop exercise. When I put my hand towards the windscreen and say stop, I like you to carry the emergency stop. Okay. Stop. Okay, thank you. And drive on again for me, please. Did you check your blind spots, by the way? Mm -hmm. You did, yeah? What? Just After. before moving up. Oh, I just checked my mirrors. Okay, so you check your blind spots as well. Okay. okay. So check your mirrors and look over your blind spots before moving up. The stopping was okay, but your clutch did go down at the same t uh, at the same time as your brakes. Ideally, just brakes just slightly before and then your clutch oh, afterwards. Okay. okay. If we can do it again, we'll do it one more time. Okay. Stop! Thank you. And drive on again when it's safe to do so.
Good. Well done. I won't be asking you to do that again. Okay. Happy with that? Yeah. Good. Like go inside and sign something or something, right? No? Yeah, yeah. So that's when the examiners come out and call oh. out your name, but they're not going to come out until your test time, which is 10 at 4. 10 at 4? Yeah. And um, we're going to turn left at the next roundabout, first exit. And they don't even like us coming in unless you're five minutes before your test. Left? Yes, please. Such a perfect timing. Take the next road on your right. <coughs> I would have gone over that hump nicely first and then positioned over to the right. Good, now we're going to turn right into the test center car park. Here we go. Much excited. Yeah, good. Yeah. What was that? It was just the middle section there, just trying to keep more to your left. When you turned in as well, it almost looked like we're kind of the corner. Okay, pick one of these bays on your right and um, reverse park into it for me, please. Okay. Let's go into one of these bays here, yeah. Secure the car and turn off the engine. And turn this off. Okay, so actually, uh, we're going to go into the test center. He's going to go for his test now. Hopefully, he comes back with some good news. And yeah, we'll, we'll see him at the end. Okay, I'm going to try recording it as well. Okay, so George has just come back from his test. And yes, oh. he's passed. Ho, ho, ho. Hooray. <laughs> Congratulations, well done. Um, so, the test went really well, I guess. Yeah, yeah. just about passed probably. Just about? How many minors ten, did you get? Ten minors. Ten minors, okay. You said so, some of them could have been like, uh, what's it, majors. Yeah, yeah. All right. So we listened to the debrief. Yeah. And um, so yeah, we couldn't record the test because the examiner was being a bit funny with the cameras saying that we couldn't, uh, not funny, he, you're not allowed to record audio and we couldn't prove it. So um, the judge didn't allow us to record the test. Um, but yeah, so, um, so yeah, at the end we listened to the debrief and the examiner said that there was some close calls. There was a zebra mm -hmm. crossing apparently before a roundabout. He asked George, do you remember the zebra crossing? Do you remember the man? Oh. George was like, yeah. But you couldn't he couldn't remember. Like, and then he was like, where was it? I was yeah. Like... <laughs> but yeah, um, so just watch out for people crossing obviously. Mm -hmm. um, but 10 minors, let's take a look at the sheet. Perfect. Okay, so he said something about your appropriate speed going a bit slow. Yeah, You've seen this before as well. On the A road, yeah. And the dual carriageway, yeah. Yeah. And then you've got approaching speed to junctions a little bit slow as mm -hmm. well, he said. And the pedestrian crossing, signal, uh, use of mirrors before uh, signaling, before change of speed. We talked about this, yeah, could avoid those two minors. Forward bay parking observations again. <laughs> <laughs> this time didn't fail me though. Yeah. Um, so what was the observations for? What did he say? Was it when you were reversing in? So you got forward bay parking again. Um, Good thing we practiced it. A he few said times. I wasn't checking my back mirror, so yeah, probably I wasn't and looking in the back window. Yeah, I think he was quite a generous. In, uh, what's it? Examiner. The examiner. Yeah. 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 
Yeah, apparently, so George goes, if I if I did the test, if I did the mock yeah. test, I would have yeah. got in. <laughs> um, but good, well done, congratulations. Mm -hmm. And that brings us to the end of our, our series of teaching George yeah. how to drive. And now, what's the what's the next step for you? I've got to get a car, I guess. Yeah, you're going to get yeah, a car straight away? Yeah, I've got to save up a lot of money, probably. Okay, but you're sense. going to be on the road straight away. It's not, yeah. You're not one of those people that just passes the, the test well, and just holds on. As soon as I can, I want to be on the road, yeah. Good, That's good. So hopefully you'll see George on the road now. Yeah. Watch <laughs> out for me. Yeah. Alright, congratulations again. Cheers. Well done. Um, so what happens now is that we always drive back regardless of the mm -hmm. result. So I'm going to stop sides and I'll drive us back. Okay, and that's for you to keep. I'm going to take... Did last time? Oh no, I've got, I've got a cycle bag in there. Yeah, yeah. Should I put this in the bag? Uh, you can do, or you can leave it here when you stop sides and you can take okay. it. Um, I'm going to get a picture of you as well. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The famous pictures. Yep. I've seen them. That's it. <laughs> oh.